If you're one of the millions of people out there who think that cholesterol is an evil molecule that does only bad things to your body, then this video may be slightly triggering to you. I'm gonna tell you multiple things that cholesterol does for you in a, in a positive light. It's actually good for you. There are actually hundreds and hundreds of things that cholesterol does for you in your body. In this video, I'm gonna focus on just the top seven without which you would die within minutes. So if you think cholesterol is your enemy, you need to watch this video to the bitter end because I'm gonna blow that myth completely up. So the first thing you need to know is that the human body makes cholesterol. Actually, 80% of the cholesterol in your bloodstream in any given moment, your body made it. Only 20% comes from your diet, even if you're eating a high cholesterol diet. Now, the manufacturing of cholesterol in the human body is a very complicated process. As you can see from these uh, chemical flow charts, uh, all the enzymes involved at each step, at each chemical reaction, there can be a genetic defect that makes it more difficult, if not impossible, for your body to make enough cholesterol for all of the functions that your body uses it for on a daily basis. So the truth of the matter is, is that yes, we all make some degree of cholesterol, but many of us are not good manufacturers of cholesterol because of a genetic defect that may either have partial or full penetrance in our genetic code. So the number one function of cholesterol is that it's absolutely a building block for life in human beings. You have over 30 trillion human cells in your body at any given time. And each of these cells has a cell membrane around it. Without that cell membrane, it would not function properly. It would cease to function. That cell membrane would die and then you would ultimately die within a few minutes if you didn't contain cholesterol in every single cell membrane of every single cell in your body. In fact, the average cell membrane is made up of over 30% cholesterol. So a third of each cell membrane is cholesterol. Every cell in your body has to have cholesterol in order to form a properly functioning cell membrane. Now that sounds very important, doesn't it? Function number two is that your body uses cholesterol, kind of like Bondo or Spackle. It uses it to repair damage and to protect your body from damage that's been done. Indeed, when researchers first found cholesterol deposits in the arterial walls, they thought that the cholesterol was doing the damage that's a very juvenile, sophomoric way of thinking. Actually, your body was putting that cholesterol there to try to stabilize and to repair and to heal the damage that was done to those arterial membranes by the highly inflammatory, high carbohydrate, modern human diet. So here's a, a picture, a representation of the cholesterol molecule, and I'm gonna leave it right there. As I bring up all of the other hormones and vitamins that are made out of cholesterol. Yeah, your body uses cholesterol as, a, as one of the foundational building blocks of testosterone, estradiol, progesterone. Those sound pretty important. Any of you guys out there with low testosterone, uh, your testosterone is made out of cholesterol. Also the adrenal hormones, cortisol and aldosterone, which literally modulate and regulate and cause to happen thousands of chemical reactions in the body that are mandatory for not only optimal function, but for any function whatsoever. Without those five hormones, you would die within minutes. Your body also uses cholesterol as a basic building block for most of the vitamin D in your body. And you can see the resemblance in the two molecules, right? So as your blood goes through your skin, ultraviolet light from the sun happens to, to cholesterol. Several steps later, voila, vitamin D. Your body also uses cholesterol to make bile, which is 
made by your liver and stored in the gallbladder, if you still have one, and your body uses this bile to emulsify or break down the fats that you eat. Now, this is an excellent point. I want you to pay very careful attention to this. Uh, human physiology always makes sense. Now, if cholesterol were truly the enemy, dastardly molecule that we're taught that it is, your body sec secretes tons of bile into your small intestine in order to emulsify fats. Now, if cholesterol was the villain, your body would allow that to pass through and you would poop out all that extra cholesterol. It'd be an excellent re release valve. Oh no, my friend, you know what your body does? It actually actively reabsorbs the bile, the cholesterol in the bile back into the circulation to be reused again and again and again. So I think that one physiological step right there is, is, is a damning nail in the coffin of the cholesterol is bad for you hypothesis because your body's got an excellent escape route. If it needed to, it could dump a pound of cholesterol into your small intestine every day, pass through to the large intestine and out through the toilet. But your body says, no, that cholesterol is too valuable and it reclaims the majority of it and pulls it back into the circulation to use again. Without the bile that's made of cholesterol, you would not be able to absorb the fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K you would pass these through, you wouldn't absorb them. And without the fat soluble vitamins, you would be dead in a few days. Now, after seeing all these very important physiological things, you may be asking the logical question, why does my doctor want to lower my cholesterol so much? Why are they telling me to eat a cholesterol free diet and then also take a cholesterol lowering statin or PK, PCSK9 inhibitor why do they want it to be so low? My answer to you is, that's a good damn question. You should let your doctor watch this video and then say, now doc, these things sound very important to me. Shouldn't I be trying to, as the human body does, preserve and conserve my cholesterol? I shouldn't be trying to, to pharmaceutically lower it, right? So let's all stop villainizing cholesterol. Let's accept it for what it is. It is a good guy in the human body. Your body makes 80% of it. Every single cell membrane in your body is at least 30% made from cholesterol. Cholesterol is used in making multiple hormones and vitamins. It's, it's, it's used to heal and repair hundreds of tissues in the human body. Cholesterol is your friend. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.